Welcome back to my booth, Irfan here. If you're in the market looking for a decent pair of wireless earbuds, then today might just be your day. Uh, I'm going to be looking at the brand new Hytune X5 True Wireless Earbuds by Ugreen. Now these $50 earbuds are fresh from the oven and are filled to the brim with amazing features. Now my aim today is to test the build quality, the connection speed, the sound quality, latency, especially in gaming mode, and last but not least, the battery life. Before we continue, there's a humble request. I mean, these videos take tremendous amounts of efforts and time to produce. So do show your support by liking and subscribing to my channel and sharing this video with your friends and family. Now, let's get unboxing. If gadget reviews, DIY projects, and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Before ripping the box open, I'd like to point to the product page of the Hytune X5 on Ugreen's website. Now, I've seen likes of this only when a new iPhone or an Apple product drops. Such a brilliant interactive website. Now, they make sure to get you hooked right away. But is all that effort worth it? We'll find out. Here is the box. Super simple with some branding on the front and sides and some specs on the back. I always say that the packing is a good indicator of what's coming next and so far it seems promising. Inside the box, we have the Ugreen Hytune X5 wireless earbuds and the charging case along with another box containing a USB-C cable for charging the box and three pairs of extra earbuds of different sizes. There's one pair already on the earbuds, so you're getting a total of four pairs going from extra small to large. And then finally, a user manual tucked neatly into the lid of the box. Right off the bat, the charging case looks amazing. It is compact and the build quality is second to none. My usual issue with uh, budget earbuds is the flimsy lid, but in this case, it's far from that. It is spring-loaded, making it super easy to use, and the satisfying snap when closing it makes it 10 times better. You've got three LED charge indicators on the front, a USB-C port on the bottom, and uh, a button on the back to check the battery level, or for forced connections when you hold it for about 3 seconds. The earbuds have a story of their own to tell when it comes to design. And starting with the build quality, it is no different from the box. They look like two kidney beans glued to each other with an earbud sticking out. At first glance, I thought they might be too big and look ugly when uh, protruding from the ear. But that's not the case. The rubber tip goes all the way into the ear canal and this inner bean sits inside the ear. So the only part sticking out of the ear is this outer bean, as I call it. It's the stem of the earphone. I love the fact that the right and left markings are of different color, so you can tell them from afar as to which is which. It's a nice and tight fit in the ear, uh, which honestly I'm not really a big fan of. I'm more than happy with my Apple AirPods solely because I can hear ambient sounds from outside when wearing it. With the X5 or similar earbuds for that matter, I can hear my organs inside and that deafening feeling really irritates me. Plus I have tinnitus in one ear, so that just adds to the misery. But there are scenarios where I'll prefer these kind of earbuds over my AirPods. For example, when I am editing videos in a noisy place like a coffee shop, then this is my go-to gadget. And if I twist the earbud so the stem is facing straight down, it opens up the ear a little bit to outer sounds while still sitting firmly inside the ear, meaning you can comfortably take it for a run or a workout without having to worry that they might fall out. Pairing it is as easy as raising the lid of the charging case and then going to the Bluetooth settings. This can be your phone, laptop, basically pretty much any device. It also remembers the previous device it was connected to and will automatically connect in less than 5 seconds when you simply raise the lid. Also to note that it has very nice sounding voice prompts. Bluetooth connected. Let's talk about the sound qualities. Now, I'm not gonna pretend that I'm a pro when it comes to the intricacies of audio. I'm not gonna tell you what kind of EQ curve it has or how are the high, mid and low frequencies and uh, how's the separation of the vocals from the rest of the sound. What I can tell you is my experience. Now, for me, my usual yardstick is my AirPods. And if I can get similar sound from a $50 set of earbuds, then that gets my vote. The sound is quite punchy, clear, loud, and it doesn't even break at the maximum volume. The bass deserves a special mention. I have rarely come across any set of earbuds that have bass as rich as this one. It actually feels like standing next to one of those giant woofers in the trunk of a car. Simply outstanding. How about the microphone? 
Well, it has two microphones on each earbud, which should be capable of great voice quality over calls uh, with some great noise cancellation, and we should really test that. Hey guys, so I have the Hytune X5 earbuds connected to my phone right now, and it is their microphones which are recording all this audio. Uh, and I actually think they're pretty nice. How I know, uh, because I recorded a video before this and I played it back and uh, they actually sound pretty nice. I mean, the dual microphones on each uh, earbud, they're doing a pretty good job. Now I'm sitting in my car because I wanted to see how they sound in a nice quiet place. And in a moment, I'm gonna step outside and stand by the road where I have the noise of the cars and the wind, etc., to see how they perform over there. But yeah, for a quiet place, this is how they sound and I actually think it's pretty decent. All right, guys, this time I'm standing by the side of the road. Uh, and once again, I made a small video and played it back. Uh, it sounded pretty okay to me. I mean, it doesn't completely negate the sound of the cars uh, rushing in the background behind me or the wind. There isn't much wind to start with. But uh, what I'm trying to say is it doesn't completely negate the sounds in the background, but it does uh, separate my words very clearly from the background noise. So how loud it is, you have to tell me because I'm wearing these in-ear uh, earphones. So when I play them back, you know, they sound you know quite light, loud to me. Uh, but you be the judge and let me know in the comments below. As far as the clarity goes, I think it's doing a pretty decent job. Let's talk about the touch controls. Uh, one tap on either of the earbud to play or pause a track or to take a phone call as well as disconnect it when it is done. Two taps on the right earbud to increase the volume and two taps on the left to lower it. Three taps on the right to skip to the next track and uh, three taps on the left earbud to move to the previous one. Four taps on either one of the earbud uh, activates gaming mode. And finally, touching and holding either one of the earbud brings up the voice assistant, in my case Siri. Now I did a quick and simple latency test on the earbuds. Latency is basically the delay from when a sound is made in a video to when you hear it in the earbuds. Wired earphones have a very low latency of around 10 to 15 milliseconds. Wireless earphones have a little more. These ones have a latency of 270 milliseconds in normal mode. And when I switch to gaming mode, the latency dropped to 125 milliseconds. That's a reduction of 54%. Now, if you want to know how I did the latency test without complicating it too much, let me know in the comments below and maybe I'll make a short tutorial on that. Finally, the battery. The earbuds take about an hour and a half to charge from zero to full and one full charge uh, will give you around seven hours of playtime at about 50% volume. And the box carries about 28 hours of playtime in total, which is plenty in my opinion. I haven't required another charge since the first one about a week ago prior to when my testing began. So that's it guys, uh, the Ugreen Hytune X5 is a very good contender if you're looking to get a set of new wireless earbuds. The build quality is awesome, the sound quality is really good, especially the bass, low latency, especially in gaming mode, great battery life and a ton of touch controls. If unlike me, you're a fan of in-ear earbuds, then this is definitely something to look into, especially for a price of $50. I'll leave a link in the description box below in case you wanna check it out. That's it for now guys, if you enjoyed what you saw, hit the like button below and while you're there subscribe to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any new content. Share the video with your friends and family, click on the thumbnails to watch some of my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more and as always, thanks for watching.